Code to Enhance Learning presents the CEL video series for creating apps in Thunkable. Through this video series, we aim to introduce you to the world of creating your own apps through platforms like Thunkable. Hello everyone. This is Ayush and I'm excited to see you all today. As you all know, I love coding and I am a regular participant at CEL Hackathon. I will be your host for today. Welcome to the 6th episode of the series Business App to create a pizza ordering application. We will be doing this video in two parts. The first part will focus on designing the app and the second will focus on coding the app. In the last episode, we learned how to build a table recital. Nowadays, everyone has a smartphone in their hands. Smartphones are not limited to talking. They are used to communicate with people and businesses all over the world in various ways. We all use home delivery these days, right? When home deliveries first started, we had to place our order over a phone call, but it was difficult to see the menu or sometimes the call would not get connected. That's why business apps are used to provide a hassle-free experience where you can see the menu online, place your order at ease and get delivery out of your favorite items at your doorstep. Today, I am excited to create a business app to order your favorite pizza. Isn't that super exciting? I can hear my stomach grumbling already. Today, we will design a business app for easy pizza ordering. Let us look at the demo of the project that we are going to create. I am going to make use of a ready project for the demo. Today's app will have four screens. First is the splash screen. Next is the place order screen. Third is the address screen. And fourth is the order successful screen. This is how our app will look. Let us start by designing the prototype of the app. Before making it in Thunkable, we will create a draft in a notebook. The first screen will be named as the splash screen. Here I will use the animation component to add an animation to the screen as soon as the app is opened. The second screen will be named as the order screen. Here I will use the animation component to add an animation to the screen again. I will use labels to show the name of the product as well as the order quantity. I will be using buttons which will help to increase or decrease the order quantity. I will also add a button to move to the next screen. The third screen will be named as the address screen. Here I will use labels to show the total order value. I will be using text boxes in which the user will enter his or her address and card details. I will be using buttons to go back or to place the order. The fourth screen will be named as the order successful screen. Here I will use an animation to give us a great user experience. I will use a label to show the order confirmation message. I will use a button to check if the user wants to place another order. This brings us to our task 1. Pause here and create a prototype of the business app in your notebook. You can build on the idea that is shown to you by adding features of your own. After making the draft, I have designed the app like this in Thunkable. Let's look at each screen in detail. For designing screen 1, we will be using the animation component. The animation component is powered by Lottie and makes adding animations as easy as adding images. Lottie is an iOS, Android and React native library that renders After Effects animations in real time, allowing apps to use animations as easily as they use static images. You can easily add animations to your app in the .json file format. Go to the Lottie Files website, create a free account and then choose your animation. You can directly use the URL or upload the JSON file into Thunkable. JSON is an open standard text-based file format and data interchange format that uses human readable text to store and transmit data. It is a very common data format with a diverse range of applications. One example being web applications that communicate with a server. We will learn more about JSON files in the next course. Let us now design the splash screen. 
The first screen in this app is called the splash screen, as it will stay for a few seconds and then move on to the next screen. For this screen, I will use the animation component as an option to upload an animation or add the URL of the animation for it to appear on the screen. I go to the website of Lottie Files and then log into my account. If you are using Lottie Files for the first time, you may need to create your own account. Now I will search for pizza and it will list all the pizza animations which we can use. From the filters, I will choose the free option. Next, I will choose my animation and when I click on it, I can see the URL which I can copy paste in my app. Now my animation is appearing in my app. This completes the design of screen 1. This brings us to our task 2. Create the design of screen 1 in Thunkable as per your prototype. Let us now move on to the designing of screen 2 which is the order screen. For this screen I have used an animation component with a different animation this time from Lotifiles. I have used labels for the menu items. I have also used labels for the quantities. I have used buttons to increase or decrease the quantities. I have also used a button to move to the next screen. I have renamed all my labels and buttons to suitable names so it is easy for me while I code. This completes the design of screen 2. This brings us to task 3. Create the design of the screen 2 and thunkable as per your prototype. Let us now move on to the designing of screen 3 which is the address screen. For this screen I have used a label to show the total order value. Then I have used 5 text boxes where the user can enter his address and card number. For the text boxes I have provided hints like name, address, city etc which will enable the user to input the correct details. I have used two buttons to go back or place the order. This completes the design of screen 3. This brings us to task 4. Create the design of the screen 3 in Thunkable as per your prototype. Let us now move on to the designing of screen 4 which is the order successful screen. Here I have used an animation from Lottie files. I have also used a label to show the order confirmation message. I have used a button to check if the user wants to place another order. With this we complete the design of all the four screens. This brings us to task 5. Create the design of the screen 4 in Thunkable as per your prototype. With this we complete the designing of our business app. In the next video we will be writing the codes to make our app work. So keep watching this space. Let us now take a short quiz to check your understanding. What is animation component? Pause the video and try to answer. The answer is A. Makes adding animations easy in the application. In the next episode, we will continue with the coding part to complete our business app. So please watch this space. This is Ayush signing off. Bye.